resurrection, Christ is proclaimed the King of the universe, the Lord of time. Every moment and every human activity are embraced in His incarnation and resurrection. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through men, the resurrection of the dead came also through men. For just as in Adam all died, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits. Then, at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom of his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It does all rise to give glory and honor to the Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, 
Whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed. Into the eternal fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least of ones, you did not do for me, and these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are coming to the end of the liturgical year. This is the last week of the year for the church. Next week, we will begin the Advent. For this last week, we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, King of the Universe. As I told you in the beginning of the Mass, that figure of the King is quite rare in this world because most of the country is governed by the God President. Not much, not many countries in the world now has King. Anyway, if we, if we look back in our history and many years ago when we listened to the story from our parents especially um, from Walt Disney you will see many many stories about the king the king who is some is good some are bad doesn't matter but the kingship is the sign the Thing that going to tell us that this king has the right over people. They can do anything to anyone, whatever they want. If they want someone to be good, he can give him many things that he wants. In other way, if you want someone to die, he or she has to be dead in some way or another. Etc., that you can remind yourself of a story that you can listen. But Jesus Christ, the King, is not that figure. The King that we celebrate today is the kind of King that reigned over our hearts. This King become the one who can reign over our life by being our example. To practice good things to others. This king has no throne like golden throne that they have or iron throne. But the throne of this king is the cross. The cross that he gave his life for us. This man, this king, has no fur clothes. He has only one that to cover his body. He has no crown, but only the thorns over his head. But this king gave us everything in his life, gave us his life for us. That is why we celebrate this kingship of Jesus Christ who will be our judge in the end. This king has many things to tell you, but one simple thing that I would like to share with you today is his kind of kingship who love, love and give everything. As Christians, we are called to do the same thing. 
love and give things, give our life to others. If you can remember last week, gospel, Jesus tell us the parable of people, the talent, the one who got the talent. It doesn't matter that how much you got. The thing is matter is how much you use it. How you use it. If you have five, you use it five. If you have two, use it two. You have everything you can. You do everything you can to help others, to love others. That is enough. But if you have ten and you use nothing, or you use only one or two for others, this is not a Christian's call. So it is the thing that I would like to share with you today. If we celebrate his kingship, kingship of Christ, we say Christ is our king. Christ reigned over us, but we did not do anything to imitate his king. It's nothing. It's useless to become Christians. So, we come to the end of the year. I would like to give this idea to you to remind yourself to go back, reflect, and after that, act like Jesus. Love like Him, doing good like Him, and give yourself to others like Him. May God bless you all. Let us all rise to profess our faith. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and an unconscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one of destined for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that as we celebrate the teaching of His Son, we may always seek His kingdom and persevere in coming witnesses to it through our piety and works of charity. For the trust we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That through Christ, our King and Shepherd, the shepherds of the church may, following Christ's example, tend to the weak, seek out the lost, and gather all the sheep into one flock. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That through Christ, our leader and Savior, government and civil leaders may lead the nation to a more loving and caring community which promotes and protects the dignity and rights of the poor, the marginalized and the weak. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That through Christ, the Word incarnate, the people who are in need and in pain may experience the presence of God in the hands and hearts of those who minister and care for them. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions.
and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be eternal to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as you told the priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as, we, as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. We might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Ascension into heaven, 
and we look forward to your second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose consent intercession in your presence we rely on unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis Albert Hope and Francis Jerry Archbishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, the merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were listening to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ your Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
king who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only the same word, and my soul shall be healed. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death over until you come again.
Lord, bless your generous hearts. As always, 
Thank you for your generosity. At this point, we would like to thank Father Francis for presiding us to this Eucharistic celebration and has been Father a round of applause. Thank you, Father. To our readers, altar servers, members of the choir, operatory crew, and to you, our dear parishioners, thank you for celebrating with us today. And we look forward to have you again next Sunday at 10.30 in the morning. May the good Lord be with us always and have a good week ahead. Please rise for the final blessing. Thanks be to God.